Uh, today I want to show you how to build your own rabbit cage. Now keep in mind this is something new. I'm actually showing you what I'm learning. Um, so let's just rephrase that and let me show you how I built my rabbit cages. Uh, I decided by the way I want to raise rabbits for meat uh, for me and my family. Um, so yeah, I'm going to go with uh, a bunch of cages. This is a cage I'm building. It's 24 inches deep by 30 wide by 16 high. And there's a door with a, an opening that's 10 by 10. The door itself is 12 by 12. The doors I did buy uh, pre-made, same for the latch. What you'll need to build this is a one by one, that's the, the square right here, one by one by 108, I think, it's 24, 24, it's 48, plus 60, yeah, 108 inches long, or two 24 inch and two 30 inch, depending on how you want to do it. I prefer to make a like a really long one and then bend it, instead of having to clip everything. It would probably be nicer looking if I was to clip everything because bending it, it's not always perfect, sometimes it's kind of round. But I want functionality, so I don't really care. Um, let me just show you again uh, about the feeders. Uh, you can see here there's a J feeder. The opening is at 4 inches, so that's the 4 inch mark right here. So I cut 2 inches by 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, by 6 for those feeders. And it just fits in there perfectly. Uh, depending if you get a bigger one or a smaller one, I mean, mounting options might be different. So just cut this to suit your needs. As for as far as uh, water goes, I'm using nipples, so I'll just clamp them on there. But you can use water bottles or whatever you want. Uh, so that's that's pretty much it for the requirements. Yeah, you'll need um, J clips or C clips. In my case, I'm using C clips. Um, you want to put them every three inches. So every three inches, one clip. So that makes a lot of clips to uh, <laughs> to clamp there, but it does a good job. Also, if you want to, you you should be using gauge 14 for the bottom. Uh, they were out of gauge 14, so I had to use gauge 15. Uh, I'm using the galvanized after weld for the bottom. I didn't think about that when I bought them, so I got the galvanized before weld for the tops and, and sides, so it'll rust faster. Yeah, we'll see what happens. We'll see how it goes. I might need to rebuild them, but yeah, it's part of the learning curve, I guess. Let me show you uh, how to do it. All right, I did buy a roll for the sides because I needed a lot of it. I bought um, almost half a roll for the other ones. I want to make, I, I, me I measured everything for nine cages. I'll build eight and then I'll have a tractor for the lawn so they can uh, eat grass. Um, using, it's made for rabbits by the way, this. Um, it's one by one here, but the bottom is 0.5 by one. That's for the, the baby saver they call. So the kids when they're born and they crawl out, they don't fall off the cage and die. They'll just stay there. That's uh, meant for that. You can also use, um, Hardware cloth, just um, on the outside, or maybe anything small. If you only plan on using it for big rabbits, you'll need that. But for babies, it's called a baby saver for something, for a reason. <laughs> you just measure it. It's, it's easy to use the Imperial system. Uh, I'm used to the metric system, obviously, but this is one by one, so you just, you just count 24, 30. 24, 30, and you cut. It's so much easier than having than having to measure everything, and you have to measure everything twice. Of course, measure twice, got three times in my case, so I'd rather count the numbers, the little holes, it's easier. So 108 inches of this. Then let me just grab the bottom again. Yeah, they're all falling, that's awesome. All right, this bottom, like I said, gauge 14 you want. The other ones are also 14 in my case, but you could get uh, gauge 16 if you want. So 24 by 30, 
that's one inch by 0.5 so they don't get their feet stuck and then for the top you can use whatever you want I'm just using uh, one by two um, I doubt the babies will climb up and get out of there I like to see that though <laughs> it'd be funny so that's it for the, the sides top and bottom when you cut everything to size you take your sides the big long one and you just fold it at the 24 inch mark 30 and also uh, 24 so that's all four sides then you're ready you're ready to uh, to put everything together okay I cheated um, I put the bottom I mean the top and the sides together so it's easier to, to to hold everything together and show you but it's really 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 flimsy when you start and it looks like it's all gonna work and then it takes its shape and it kind of works I'm using those C clips but you can use J clips you'll need the uh, pliers for, for this and it's always tricky to get started after a few clips it's easier but um, I like to start with the corner you just put it there and what I'll do, I'll use two on the same corner, one for the side and one for the front. This way it's a bit more sturdy. And then I'll, I'll put two in each corner. It'll work if you do it on one side only. But at least this way it just stays there and it's not going anywhere. So if you measured everything correctly, it should work. If not, <laughs> it might be longer and uh, well I was lucky, well maybe not lucky, I count everything correctly, but uh, I didn't have this issue. It's kind of tough because it's bent and you want to make it straight a bit, otherwise it's not going to fit. Um, the first clips sometimes are hard, you got to pull really hard, so I'll do the same thing here, I'll put two clips one on the front, one on the side. Eh, I'll just keep going like that. And that's just to hold it in place. I tried to do this holding the camera and it, it's a two-hand operation. Sometimes you gotta lift it a bit for it to make uh, for the work. Alright, now at the bottom, right? Oh, you want to make sure that um, the wire, it's one on top of the other. The one with the, I mean, the 0.5 inches apart, you want it to be on the inside of the cage. So that's uh, more surface area if you want for the for rabbit's feet. It worked the other way also, I guess, but yeah, it's just the way I tried to, uh, to do it. So I'll count three inches and I'll put one. So that's three squares. Let me just start with that side. So I'm not sure you can see, but I'm on the first one here. One, two, three, and a climb one here. One, two, three, and another one. It's easy. You don't want to put one in the third one on the, on the side and on the fourth one on, on, on the bottom. Uh, you want to make sure you're using the, the correct spacing. That's why you don't want to put one in the middle, by the way. It, it'd be easy to, to hold everything together and put one in the middle. But if you have it wrong, then you'll have to remove them. And putting the clips is easy. Removing them, it's something else. It's a bit harder. It's, it's doable, but... Yeah. Well, I'll keep going. As you can see, some of them are not um, really tight. Actually, some of them are, I mean, barely closed. So I go the extra mile and re 
do all of them just to make sure I've got a tight fit. I'm sure it's no big deal and it would work, it would work even without doing that. But at least this way uh, I feel more, uh, I feel like it's more secure and it's definitely not going anywhere. Okay, now I need my holes for the door and also my feeder. I marked everything so I don't have to measure uh, while on camera. But you want to make sure you get it right on the first time. If you make your, your door too big, uh, it just won't fit. I think I, I said it was 10 by 10, but it's, it's actually 11 by 11. So you want to well, measure everything. I marked everything with tape. But all you need to do is to uh, go and cut. So there's my door, well, the cutting for my door. I was saying you can use this for the actual door because once you remove the extra wire, it was 11 by 11, that would be 9 by 9 because you're removing one inch all around, well, half an inch here, but still, you'd be removing uh, one inch on those three sides. So I keep those in case I want to make smaller cages and smaller doors. So might be useful. Same thing for my my feeder. I'll go right here. Need to cut it. Okay, so I need to uh, put the door on. Uh, as you can see, I've uh, placed the latch on the door already. Um, did that a while ago. I found it was easier. And one good thing to do is to place the door in front of you because if it's on the back, it ain't gonna work. There you go. <laughs> Much better. So it's really easy. It has hooks already. You can make your own uh, and use uh, clips. C clips or J clips. Uh, so I just want to make sure I put it the same way as the others. Oh, there you go. I don't have to. I could leave it like this, but I don't want it to fall if I'm doing it one headed. So I'll just close both sides. And that's it. Okay, so my door's cut. But as you can see, there's a lot of sharp edges where I did cut. You could grind it, but they do sell this just to snap on there you snap it and it'll prevent you from hurting yourself and from hurting the rabbit so you just cut it so it fits you place it there and you uh, leave it there i did add those water feeders because if something happens to the tube system and they don't have water uh, it's going to be a mess and i'll have to do something in a hurry at least now i have a backup plan which is right now it's not even a backup plan it's a primary plan because my my hose is not connected to my my bucket i did use those little two inches um 
two pieces with plugs to make sure the water doesn't, doesn't go anywhere. Eventually I have cages there and also on the bottom. So uh, with the, um, the tees, I can easily expand and add one more section. As you can see here, you've got the plug so water doesn't go down there, but the tube is ready. And water will bring, I mean the tube will bring water to, to everything else. We'll see how it goes. Wish me luck. Thanks for watching.